is great anymore. The galaxy of intellectual, honorable principal, respected teachers, and my dear fellow students. How diverse this day is. Undoubtedly, it is a beautiful day. As the sanctity is called kindness, humanity, and equality. So, dear audience, hold on to your hearts because you may discover the beauty of this day as our event unfolds.
to the condition. He was used to be discriminated by a way, but made him sick. The boy felt alone and loved everything in his abode with the hoods. It's too bad, Grandpa. It's not fair. Yes, my dear. But God's grace, you are no imagine and give him hopes to get all the rights to leave. Oh, that's great. Thank you to William. Where is the boy, Grandpa? Here is the boy who stood in front of you because of given by United Nations Organization. Now I understood the importance of human rights. Thank you.
Humility is nothing but protecting the individual's indignity, that is dignity. And dignity of the individual is protected, nothing but we are get, we get success. So that we have to protect the individual's dignity, there are some areas identified in the society are being neglected, which is connected closely with the human rights. They are in the field of education, in the field of health, and in the field of justice. When these three are violated, when these three are not reaching the common man, obviously we say that human rights can't, is not reaching the common man, is not reaching to the society at the bottom of the table. So much. This team, the 2022 United Nations General Assembly, the team has been stated as dignity, freedom, and justice for all. Here, what we are supposed to do in order to protect this uh, human rights. As you all see, the cost of there has been so many violations, the human rights, say, in the contemporary world. We have seen the African in West Asia, in Palestine, Israel, so many areas where the human rights have been violated. There are so many dignitaries and personalities have been fighting for the human rights. Beginning with, you know, the end that is Yusuf Alana from Pakistan, as you know, Nelson Mandela, uh, it's South African president stated that the only human rights are delaying, the people are delaying the human rights. So, here, what we are supposed to do? All stand up with the racial, there is a, should go. It says, uh, what is it, every day there has been discrimination in the society. Each one of us try to know any global organizations connecting to human rights. So, I strongly believe that the degradation of human rights, the aspirations of the world's uh, human rights regulation, and I strongly believe that the government of India is very strongly fulfilling the aspirations of the degradation of human rights through its main and mission statements and through our own of school campus. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving this wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable work updating ourselves with the current happening is a good habit. To broaden our perspective and knowledge, the news I would like to call Nandri in Class 9 PRC to come forward and enlighten us with the current news update. The news highlights. Air India invests 3,295 crores for the development of air force and aeroplanes. Today, IIT Delhi will voice the fourth edition of Industry Day. Alumnus of IIT Kanpur contributes rupees 2 crores to seed health team innovation. After being deposited, an Indian national piece quality to illegally enter the US. FIFA World Cup 2022, Brazil vs. Croatia QF, head to head match, insights journey to the quarterfinals. Brazil lost, Croatia enters the semi finals. Updates on Cyclone Mangroves. The IMO issued a yellow alert in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Puducherry. India vs Bangladesh, third ODI. How deep is India's problem after Rohit injury with Kuldeep and Chahar out? G20 President, huge opportunity for India. PM Modi, next meeting in India. Realty introduces the 10 Pro Series in India, availability and features. FIFA World Cup 2022. A Dutch player with a heart condition will use a defibrillator against Argentina in the quarterfinals. Thank you. To the Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Women's Day to all of you. Thank you. I thank Azad Hall for selecting a nice topic which is very relevant at present days. We already know that 1948, the United Nations Organization, they accepted the Human Rights Bill and they passed it. Since then, some of the countries, particularly the Commonwealth countries, are protected by human rights. There are five different elements that human rights actually protects. One is the liberty. You all know that you're born in a free country. It is not ruled by anybody else, but by our own country people. So that is the liberty. The second one is freedom of speech. In India, or the Commonwealth country, whatever you want, you can speak, you can express your own feelings. The third one is against the slavery. When we born in a free country, we are not bound by anyone. 
and we are not bound to anyone. So that is the main reason we don't get the slavery. Whatever we do, we pay our contribution in return of something different. And the fourth one is actually the liberty of your own caste and creed and religion to carry forward. India and other countries who don't follow left-hand secularism. So India is covering human rights on a very good aspect. But as Shiva was telling in the first video for the Kamin, she was also mentioning that many countries they don't follow human rights, particularly the Gulf countries, particularly Saudi Arabia and Iran. There are many areas they don't follow human rights. There, the people are not protected by human rights law. It is high time for us, we are now in the 21st century, it is high time for us to protect and extend our five hands in friendship to those countries who are still not believing in human rights. Trust me, if that law is not being secured in any of other countries, the people of that country, they are not secure. So I wish you all the best for a lovely day today. And truly I want you to understand, particularly the little one and the primary children, what is called human rights. So do say little, what is called rights, comes with responsibility. Don't you always think that it is a my right. Right comes with a responsibility. You have to pay your contribution towards your responsibility, then the rights should be protecting you. So please be remembering yourself as a student of Paramedha Heritage School and follow the code of conduct that has been laid in your classroom. There are classroom norms that have been set up. So please follow that one and contribute your tribute and your pay your part towards the code of conduct. Protect yourself with the rights as a student that you are having in class. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.
You know 